Oh, I think it's time for a mo job. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back. Today we have a very busy day. Uh, Easter is coming up, so I wanna I wanna make sure I dominate. Speaking of uh, dominating the neighbors, uh, I wanna give a huge shout out to uh, Clint, the neighbor dominator, and uh, Alan Hain for the for the nice hat that I'll be rocking today for uh, for the mo job. We're gonna mow the lawn. Uh, we're gonna spray some uh, some micronutrients, and we're also gonna apply some uh, some for, some slow release fertilizer in the lawn. Uh, so let's go. Let's have some fun. Look at those crispy edges, Ayan. Just, just look at the size of that wall. Look at that. Just so everyone knows, in this home, we always mow tall and we bag. We don't mulch, we bag and we mow tall. this mow guys and let me say that the lawn is looking phenomenal check it out Ooh. what do you guys think huh <laughs> also I wanna I wanna show you guys this I'm looking for new ideas for my flower bed all these were damaged with the Texas freeze so I'll be taking these bad boys out so if you guys have any ideas put them down write it down down in the comments let me know what you guys think what you guys uh think i should uh i should add oh and justin i need i need i need to work this thing out right here all right so help me out justin <laughs> 
so I've been uh, spoon feeding my lawn throughout the season you guys know that I like spoon feeding it just gives it that um, that color I need that I'm looking for uh, constantly when I spoon feed compared to dropping a heavy load this time I'll be up, I'll be dropping one pound of nitrogen um, the ratio I'll be dropping today will be a 25 10 uh, five pounds of, of product will give me about one pound of nitrogen so here is about one pound of product I'll be needing five pounds for every thousand square feet so I'll be dropping five cups of this in my spreader Of you, of you guys asking I'm using my uh, 80 pound let's go spreader I actually ha have it on a very low setting setting number 10 that way I can get an even spread I have a fairly small lawn uh, it's about 1200 square feet so even though the, the hopper does its thing the spreader does its thing I still want to have a low setting so I can you know have an even spread throughout the whole lawn this is when you know you have a calibrated spreader. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Good boy. So here I have 3.3 uh, ounces of uh, dry iron, uh, which contains some tons and tons of, uh, of micronutrients that are perfect for your lawn. Uh, what you wanna do with this is you wanna make sure you dissolve it properly in hot water and then apply a foliar application to the blades of the lawn so they can stay overnight and then water them in in the morning. So let's go ahead and do that. So today what I'll be using is a, a TJ nozzle for my foliar application. This is a complete game changer. I'll leave a, uh, um, a link in the description down below for the product. This is a, like I said, this is a complete game changer for you guys looking to upgrade the, the stock nozzle in your sprayer. This is a complete, complete upgrade. I 100 recommend you this nozzle right here. When it comes to spraying iron, you want to make sure it sits overnight in the blade uh, for the blade to absorb as much iron possible. In the morning, make sure you water it, water it in properly, very, very good, so it can go so it can go deep, uh, go down in the soil and absorb all those nutrients as well. Uh, we're officially done for the day. I know it wasn't a detailed video, but uh, I believe it was fun enough to watch. In the future, I will be uh, uh, having a video uh, of the stuff that I use, a detailed video of the stuff that I use um, in my lawn. Uh, you guys know I like detailed content, uh, speaking on the products that I use on my lawn, uh, fertilization, spraying techniques, and all of that. Uh, but I wanted to keep this one short and simple uh, for the things that I did for my Easter preparation. Watching, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up uh, and wait for the next one.